July 22nd, 2017. Broward County Sheriff's responded to 48th Ave at 2.52 in the morning after a call for a person shot. Arriving on scene, they'd find an unresponsive male laying in the street with a gunshot to the head. An on-scene witness would give a sworn statement saying there was a block party going on when a Mercedes pulled up and two men got out. One of them would fire a shot into the air before both men opened fire into the crowd. Those two men would be identified as 23-year-old Cambrell Smart and 22-year-old Braxton Davis. Over 35 spent shell casings would be left at the scene and Cambrell, who's more commonly known as the Florida rapper Psycho Bob, would later be taken into custody for attempted murder and interrogated. <coughs> Mark, my name is Detective Scott, I'm at the Sheriff's Office. They tell you why you're here? Okay. So, you have some warrants out for your arrest. Okay. Part of it is violation of your probation. Okay. You're on felony probation right now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you've been through this before, so before I kind of get into where those charges came from, those warrants came from, I have to advise you of the rights. All right? So, I'm going to read these out loud to you. I just need you to answer out loud. Uh, let me make sure. Okay. Braxton said you guys were out playing paintball. Yeah. How'd you do? Doing good. Yeah. yeah. You're not hurt or anything, right? Okay. All right. Um, if we're asking you questions, I want to advise you rights. First off, do you understand that I'm a police officer? Yeah. Okay. Now, police officers in the state of Florida will authorize to administer oaths and take sworn statements. Yeah. So, the first right is you have the right to remain silent. That is, you need not talk to me or answer any questions if you don't want to. Do you understand yeah. that? Okay. Uh, should you talk to me, anything you say can and may be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay. If you cannot afford, I'm sorry, you have the right to talk to an attorney or lawyer before talking to me and to have an attorney or lawyer here with you during questioning now or in the future. Do you understand that? can't afford to retain your own attorney or lawyer and you want an attorney or lawyer, one will be appointed for you before we ask you any questions. You understand? All right. Knowing and understanding, I'm sorry, this one's important. If you decide to answer the questions now without an attorney present, you will still have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to an attorney or lawyer. Okay. So basically what that means is once we start talking and I tell you what it's about, if you don't want to talk, then we're done talking. Okay. Do you understand that? All right, knowing and understanding the rights as I have explained them to you just now, are you willing to answer questions without an attorney or lawyer present? No. Okay. Um, have you asked any other of the officers, the ones that drove you here or who made contact, did you ask any of them to talk to a lawyer? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. All right, have I made you any promises or threats or anything like that? Okay. All right. Um, Cambrell, C A M. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two L's. All right. Yeah. And your driver's license only has one. Uh, what's your birthday? Change from that Okay. And what's your address? Twenty-two Adderall, Adderall Florida, three three two two. And what's the phone number in your chat? Five five four, two seven four, five eight six three. Okay. Okay. So all this is coming out of Friday night. Okay. You know what I'm talking about when I say Friday night? Friday night, no. Okay. Where were, do you know where you were Friday night? Yeah, cool. Okay. Any other places? Did you go to any block parties? Down south? Uh, I heard about it, but I was at Club Pool when I got a call. It. Okay. So someone called you and said what? Said uh, uh, something had just happened at Pool. I mean, at a block party, but you know, I, would, I was I'm at, I'm on camera at the club and all. Okay. Where's that club at? Uh. I don't even know. What city? I, I, I don't even know. I don't even know the address like that. Okay, how do you get there? On oh, Broward, I think. On Broward? Yeah. Okay. On Broward Boulevard. Is it know. right down the street from the station here? 
The club dams at the same place? I don't know. I'm not from around here, too. I will be down here, so I don't know. No, no. But I just, I mean, I need, if I need to go look at their video to yeah. see you on it, I gotta know where to go. Yeah. Um, do you think it's on Brown Boulevard? I think so. Do you know what it's near? Anything next door, across the street, anything? I don't really know the area like this. Okay, but it's called Club 54. Yeah. Okay. What time did you get there? Uh, oh, I wasn't paying attention to the time, so I would never know this would have happened. Okay. Well, I knew I well here's, so here's the thing. So if you're going to tell me that you were at the club when this happened, you're on video at the club, i got to know when you were at the club. So how do you know, know you were there? I don't, know what, I don't know when that happened, when the thing happened, but I just know I got a call when we was coming. We was like, they said, man, the party just got shut down. I was like, no. Nah. Yeah, just, you feel me? They just like, but all of us at the club together. Okay. Yeah. Do you remember what time you left? The club? Mm-hmm. Uh, um, I think five. five you left at like five? Okay. okay. And who were you at the club with? Uh, me and Breston. Both you guys were there? Okay. Yeah, me and Breston were there. All right. How'd you guys get there? Uh, friend call. Okay. Uh, who drove? Uh, friend. What's his name? It's not my friend, but it's a friend of one of my friends. So it's like a, somebody who gave us a ride. Okay. I got picked up with someone. Do you call him anything? I don't know. My first time being around him like that. Yeah. Okay. What kind of car does he have? He got a Honda. What color? Gray. Gray? Do you remember what kind of Honda? Uh, okay. All right. So you were at Club 54 all night, and you got calls. Well, at least until five in the morning, and you got a phone call saying the party was shut down. They said, yeah, they're like, uh, they're like, man, my baby mom was, my baby mom was out there. My baby mom was like, man, something just happened out here. She said, some boy, I guess something happened out here. But, uh, she said it was a whole bunch of people shooting. Like she said, about 20 different people shooting like that. Like mm -hmm. it was a big shootout. Mm -hmm. I was like, nah, that's what I said, man, go home, I ain't home with my baby. And she was like, she said, that's what I'm going now, boy, I just letting you know. I was like, yes, so I was like, man, you need to go home then. Okay. And then I they know, that's when they she wanted to tell me about it. But then, but I heard, then the next day I just heard about it, everybody just keep talking about it. It was a big shootout, but that's all I know, I don't really know too much about it. Okay. Um, what's your baby mama's name? Uh, Markeisha. You know Markeisha's last name? Oh. Is she related to Tony? Tony, who is Tony? The guy who you were with? Tony Hall? Tony, who is that? Okay, when you were just now, when the police picked you and Braxton up, the other guy that was with you, what's his name? Shit, I ain't know that's his name. Oh, you've never seen him before? I've seen him before, yeah, I've been chilling with him, but I, don't, I ain't know that's his name. But you didn't know his name was Tony. Okay, so no. as far as you know, Marquise is not related to him. No. Okay, alright. Uh, and you don't know him? I know him. We cool people. You know what, 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 what's it, if you don't know his name, what do you call him? Yeah, that's the time uh, Slim. Slim? Yeah. Okay. So, you don't know him? Yeah. Okay, that's who you're talking about, Slim. Yeah. But you don't know his name is Tony. I don't, we don't call nobody by their real name, their first name. Okay. Yeah. I get that. All right. All right. Uh, what's Marquisha's number? We can call her. I don't know. I don't know none of my numbers by heart. I need no. It's just now. in your phone. Yeah. Okay. All right. Do you know Marquisha's birthday? No. All right. Where does Marquisha live at? Me and her not together, so we just be talking on the phone about my child, so I don't know really. When you go to see your child, where do you go see her? Drop it off to my mom's house. So okay, so you don't, you don't go where she lives. Like okay. All right, so she was there. She's the one who called you about it. So she tells you the party got shut down. The next day you hear about it, okay? Yeah. You, people well, tell somebody you. Called, somebody was trying to call me and say, oh, man, the party got shut down. I said, well, I seen your big mom in my head, too. I was like, yeah. And that's when I called her. I said, well, I heard you. I heard, what oh, okay. you doing out there around all that stuff? And she said, oh, I don't know. She said, yeah, I guess she said something. She said, it's just a uh, big-ass shoot that just happened. A lot of boys were shooting. And she just didn't work out of this. She, yeah. she said, everything just went wrong out here. And everybody was chilling. She said, with some boys out here just walking around. Mm -hmm. Now, the area where uh, this happened at, where the shootout happened at, do, do you know that area? I don't know like that. Like, I don't, I don't really be around that area like that. Well, 
Allen Road. That's not that far away. That's that way, but that's not. That my mom moved there, but it's not that far from Allen. Okay, so you're not. You're not. I'm not from Covington. Okay. Um. But Club Fifty Four isn't near there, uh, so you're, you're definitely nowhere near where this happened. At. No. All right. When you started hearing more about it, did it, did you hear people start saying that you were there? I heard people screaming like names, like so. I was like. I was screaming our names. I said, man, we was, we was at a club. I said, I'm, a, I'm making videos recording us at a club while we doing this. I said, man, I ain't got to. I said, then we were like, people always put a bitch's name and stuff when they know, like, like they just guess a bitch's name. Like, oh, I, get, I think it's such such. I think such such. How you gonna think it's such such, but we not there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, but that's all I know, man. I don't, that's it. Okay. Well, again, here's, here's the problem. So the warrants that are out for your arrest are attempted murder, possession of a firearm by a felon, and violation of probation. And that last one is just because of the other two. Um, the reason that you have been charged with this is because several people saw you and picked you out. I mean, it's unfair to you because you have very distinct tattoos on your face yeah. and stuff like that. So. You know, if someone's met you, it's yeah. real hard for them to forget seeing you. Yeah. Um, I don't know, I mean, if what you're telling me, and I get that, listen, there's probably, I, I can listen to some people tell me a story, and maybe it's true, or maybe just part of it's true. Yeah. Um, I can look at evidence, physical stuff that's there. Yeah. I can look at video that's there, and I can see a version that matches their story. Yeah. But there's always usually a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Um, the problem that you and I are running into right now is your version of Friday night doesn't match up at all. Like, I can understand if there were some things that were similar and some things different. Like, there's more to the story. If, if there was, like you're hearing, a shootout between a bunch of people, okay, that's got my interest, because then that's a lot different than just you and Braxton uh, shooting and nobody else shooting. That's what I'm saying. So what's kind of, uh, uh, me and Braxton, Everybody saying me and Breston shooting. How everybody gonna put us on shooting? You feel me? When uh, they, uh, everybody saying it's a shootout. So right. how just me and Bre so me and Breston shooting at each other? <laughs> right, right. That's no, what I'm and I got it, and I got it. So then that's my thing is I need to know were there circumstances out there that you know? Listen, if you got to defend yourself, you got to defend yourself. Yeah. But the only way I'm gonna do that is if someone tells me the other side of the story. Right now, all I got is the one side of the story, yeah. and I got evidence that backs up that one side of the story. Uh, like I said, though, I think there's probably more to it, but no one else is telling me that side. Yeah. So the problem that we have right now is I'm asking you to tell me what happened, and you're coming up with a, with a version that's not going to help, okay? Because yeah. I don't think you were at Club 54 when this happened. You may have been there earlier, yeah. and maybe, and maybe you had a real good time, and mm -hmm. you don't necessarily remember what time you left, but, I mean, I know you were there. Uh, we don't just get warrants because, you know, we think that we're right. We have to run this by and show all the evidence. The judge has uh, to say. It really, like, y'all do do that. Like, y'all, y'all, I, I like some more probation right now. I caught out of something I ain't do. Okay. Y'all, I don't know what evidence y'all have on me like last time. Okay. I, I'm on probation for something I really ain't do. Okay. And you feel me? I was setting up for two years in the county just fighting for my life for nothing I didn't do. And he just, BSO just picked me up and just put a charge on me. If people saying such and such, this and that. Okay. Everybody always gonna scream names. No, but this is this. I'm just telling you. So, and I don't. I had nothing to do with your other case, right? You and I have not met before today. Yeah. Okay. So I thought he said you put putting cuffs off in my arm. Anyway, stand up. with your other case I'm sorry they didn't tell you the evidence okay but what I'm telling you is we have video yeah. and like I said you you stand out okay if we see you you're really easy to recognize uh, we have people multiple people who also recognized you some of them don't know you but again they see your picture they can remember if that's the person they saw and I mean the only person who looked like this 
No, you no, you're not. I agree. I agree. But you understand where it's kind of a, yeah. you know, uh, unfortunately, you're, you're easy for some people to remember. And maybe you're right. Maybe it's someone who has the exact same thing. Yeah. But, you know, this is the only opportunity I'm going to have to sit with you and say, okay, this is what we're hearing. There are certain things I definitely know, but there's some stuff I don't. Like, if someone else was shooting at you and you felt you had to defend yourself, this is the only time I'm going to have to talk to you about it. But, but the, well, here's the other thing I want you to think about is long term, okay? When this goes to trial, all right, um, and the jury's presented with evidence, they're going to hear people talk, they're going to look at video, um, and when I tell them that when I asked you where you were and you said you were at a club completely at a different part of the county yeah. than where this happened, and we show very clearly that you weren't there, then they're just going to say, oh, the guy's a liar. And if he's a liar, he's a guy who would do this. Uh -huh. So I'm just saying that this is the, what the jury's going to see. So do you want them to see that, or do you want them to hear your side of this? I don't, don't want to talk them all. Okay. I'm going to put these back on. All right, call the phone like you're friends. Okay, have a seat. I don't know if we're sitting here. Uh, until we're ready to get you guys done, I mean, I'll try to get you out of here as quick as I can, but we got to do what we have to for this case. Because like I said, it's the only time we're going to have to talk to you, talk to Braxton, talk to Slim. Are you done talking with him already? Nope. You still got to talk to him? Yep. You guys out of there kind of respects you. Yeah, you're right. And I've always treated you good. And I know this last little thing you got into or with Tobias. And, and before I start talking about that, understand that you've already been through the trial. You already got sentenced. Yeah. There is nothing more we can do. You can tell me you set that whole thing up. There's absolutely nothing more I can do. It's double jeopardy. I can't. Um, but there's things going on in the background that I don't think you're aware of. And you got to deal with this, whatever this is, whatever you get caught up in. But there's a whole other investigation going on. Uh, I mean, uh, it goes from stupid fucking social media posts with you and guns all the way to, I mean, you know, King Dooley, right? It's all wrapped up in shit. So it's getting pretty ugly. And I think you out of everyone probably doesn't want to spend the rest of your life in prison. Yeah. I know you got your baby girl. And it it says it best in that in that video where you and King Dooley are basically saying, We do what we do. But man, we still man King Dooley don't beat you like that. But listen, we do what we do. But we still take care of our kids. Still take care of our family. Remember that part? I remember that. They came and see me when I got out one time, but I don't remember all that, all that other shit they were talking about. Oh, it was two fucking weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> two weeks ago. You're holding a gun. I mean, I, look, at, I'm just telling you what we have. We have every post you've ever made going back. Shit, going back with E, going back with all them. When you were flying fucking little bullshit blood flags 
going all the way up to nit nitrate, right? Got all of it. You can go back to your computer right now and delete it all. We got it all. So think about it. Just think how many times you've held a gun, Instagram, with Pooks, with E, with Brack, Cello, his drunk ass laying on the floor covered in money, all this shit. Think of all that. Each time you're holding a gun, you're looking at time. Each separate time. I'm telling you that I'm going to give you an opportunity. I'm not trying to trick you. You know me. If I either have something on you, I take you. If I don't, I don't. That day with Cutter, I could have taken you right. Could have yeah. VOP'd you. But I didn't. Because I didn't have you, and that's not how I play the game. But I'm telling you, it's like a fucking earthquake is about to happen. This is the earthquake, and the tremors are going to go out for months. Cello, E, Soldier, Cutter, um, Brat. They're never going to see the light of fucking day. Never. If you guys beat this, where they have so many fucking witnesses, it's not even funny. And let's face it, this is not hard to forget with people that don't know you, right? We already know Pook's driving the Mercedes. We already know you two are in the back. We got all that. They're, take, they're getting the Mercedes right now. We got all that. What I'm telling you is, if for some reason you think you're like E and are going to walk out and beat this, the second you leave state, the marshals are going to pick you up and they're going to charge you with RICO. Do you know what RICO is? RICO is when they take the whole organization, everyone that's ever been involved with each other, all that social media shit, and they charge you with everything that that group has done. Even if you're not there, they charge you. All that shit. You know Cello's fucking dying in prison. He's got so much shit going on. When Soldier gets out, we're going to grab him and indict him on other stuff. You're the only one that has something to fucking live for. Because all these other guys have all these other home invasions. Right? You got tied up in the... I can't help you with this. You know what I mean? Well, let's just say you were able to get seven years or whatever. Get some plea. The second you walk out, you she's going to grab you. Time. You know what I'm saying? But this is different state. So, I don't want to tell you. you got to tell me right now in five minutes. You know what I mean? But there's some high-up people that can help you, U.S. prosecutors, that want to talk to you. And they want to see your mindset and to see if you want to have a chance of seeing your daughter again. Um, but you got to prove that, you know, you're willing to do that. And, you know, part of that is you're either going to stay gangster, tough like this, or you're going to say, you know what, this is a big fucking wake-up call, and I need to fucking do it. And I've always said, she'll tell you, she'll probably take the words out of my mouth, that this guy ain't like them. He's a different one. The other, fuck the other guys. But I'm telling you, think about all the people in play. And I know I've left some out. Bro, one of those guys facing death penalty, because you know they kill people. They're gonna get, they're gonna go after all you guys for death penalty. Because you can charge the way the RICO works. You charge the whole group for all the acts that, so, Basically what she's saying is even though you got off on the bar field and got probation, that still falls under the RICO. The, the rip in Hallandale with, uh, what's her name, Paris? Um, huh? Some stripper girl. Don't worry about it. Um, listen, the, all, it's so bad. You guys got to the point where it's so bad that driving through Liberia, ripping these little jits, they all fucking turned on you. All did. We know you're beefing with guys. We know you're beefing with fucking Baez. We know you're beefing with Kodak. We know you're beefing with everybody. I was beefing with Kodak. <laughs> um, Franklin Green. Yeah. <laughs> um, Rat Pack. People missing some chains. People missing some money. Barfield finally came clean and said there was some money involved. A lot of fucking money. Like I said, I can't charge with that. But there's a lot of things in play and 
now that every one of you is basically off the street and in prison, these guys are all going to fucking get you. So you got to really figure out what time it is. Because you can be hard, and I appreciate that. I was stuck with how you came, you know. You know, and I know I, hey, it's no sweat off my back. If you say I, I live this life, I got to die by this life. But there comes a point where, you know, I don't know what precious means to you, but I, I know what the kid means to you. And I know you don't want to see your kid through, you know, putty glass for the rest of your life. So you have an opportunity of breathing fresh air again. But you just got to figure out if it's worth it or not. The opportunity doesn't come around over and over again. This doesn't happen again, unfortunately. They sent us down here. It's one opportunity. They call us and say, hey, we got these guys for this. And I said, well, let me come talk to Brown because they're going to move on to the other guys and they're going to probably want to cut deals to not get a death penalty. So, I mean, you think about all the times you guys always hang out. You know, there's a weak guy or there's a guy that may want to see the light of day again. Marcelo, that fat drunk, <laughs> you know that bitch. You know, somebody somewhere. So, you just got to think about it, man. I'm going to get you some water. Think about it. If, if you want me to keep talking, I will. If you want me to go fuck home, I will. If you want me to set up something where you can talk to the big shots that can actually tell you what they can do for you, we'll set that up. You know? Want some water? You want a soda or water? questions you can shit going through your head you want me to call precious and let her know are you going to call right now I'll, my, I'll call her after or I'll go by her house I need to get I need to get numbers on my phone right now I don't got no number nobody number in my heart which you phone is this my phone right there in the front right here let me show you can you just please do that for me yeah Yeah. I'm gonna put them in front, okay? Yeah. You don't even know Julie? I know, but like, me he don't know be around with like that, like, hey. Are you trying to get into the night What's that? The, the blood set up there. Oh, no. I don't even do all that gang banging. You used to. You guys have the red? Huh? Bro, everything I got on you is blood. <laughs> now you know that was IG, but they like 13 just clicks and just. But now you guys are all on site. Oh, it's like don't mean nothing? You don't see me scream on site or none of that. Or none of my staff, none of that. You ain't ever said it on a jail call? On a jail call? No. <laughs> Come on, man. Is that video? Wasn't it? You're saying we might have it on video, but... I don't know. Ain't cut on? Nah, not yet. It takes a minute when it's fully dead. I'll let you know. I mean, I can set something up pretty quick. Um, I mean, we can come talk to you tomorrow with the headshots because I know you got questions and you probably got questions. 
that's play a lot. That they can answer, but yeah. it'd be nice for you to sit in front of like a U.S. attorney that prosecutes everything when you have, and they'll explain it better. But um, you got to understand, with even with like say tonight. I mean, I got the cars. They're going to Osher's now to get the Mercedes. You know, you know they've already talked to those two, so you know everything's starting to fucking fold in. Nobody, when it comes down to gangbanging and streets and all that, I get it. I get the robbing the jitterbugs. I get all that. I get hitting the mollies and going up 12th Ave and doing, I get all it. What the hell is that? Hitting the mollies and going up 12th Ave. Well, back in the day when you guys used to rip and <laughs> Oh, you forget how long I've been around. Yeah, you've been around? But like, I just ain't been around doing that stuff. But like. you never elevated until you got with this crew. And that's when shit started getting stupid. Nobody ever fucked with you with the little stuff in the hood. Even though we knew. Nobody fucked with you because who cares? You're robbing drug, drug dealers. Nobody gives a fuck. And they're not going to make, you know what I mean? I, I get it. But this shit, you're going to go get the DNA. I mean, how do I know that you're in the in the car with a Mercedes and Cooks is driving? Mm -hmm. There's no fucking way I would know that. No fucking way. What DNA? Huh? DNA in a Mercedes? The ma black Mercedes you guys were at the club. At the party. Cooks is driving. He didn't have a gun. He was driving a getaway car. Was it a Mercedes? What did you guys say? I was in a Honda. In a Honda? Oh, you were in a Mercedes? Oh, it's two strategy. Mercedes. You want me to set something up, or? I got to think. Like, I like, got like, too much on my mind. Like it's really not a whole lot to lose. You basically get an opportunity the first to hear out from the... It's loading up right now. What do you want, Precious? Yeah. I probably got a number. <laughs> I'll call one more time. Eight six three. Eight oh one. Eight oh one. Six three two nine. I'll let her know. I can't make a call right now. Right now. After we're done, I'll, I'll call her. I'll give you my word. But I, I want to be able to talk to her like that. Know, right? I got to check with them. I can't really start answering text. <laughs> you know, it's Pooh's birthday, right? You guys are going to party tonight? You got strippers at the Hard Rock later? <laughs> I'm not going to try to get you to commit tonight, but if you want me to set something up, I can get them to come see you tomorrow. You can think about questions you have, but you got to give me, you got to give me something. Because I don't want to call them and Amy tell us to go fuck ourselves. You know, tell me about Tobias. Who the hell is that? Barfield. Barfield. He got me locked up with some names. That's it. That's it. That's really like, to be honest, if I, if, you, if I see him right now, I won't even know that's him. Well, who do you guys think he grabbed? I never seen him. Why are they, they char they put charge me with something like they got me right now? They just put my name and stuff. That's why I only like, like being around that area. But Kimbo, that's bullshit. I put it on my kids, man. They ain't got to lie about that because I'm already charged. I already got, I got charged with that. I still don't know who this dude is. If he see me right now, I won't even know who he is. If he come walk, walk up and try to kill me right now, I won't even know that's him. So I never see him again in my life. It just, I could jump But you're him. saying like this shit, but you, you got a hundred people IDing you out there. They got video. Uh, you got, uh, uh, how do we know there's a Mercedes? How do we know Poops is driving the Mercedes? I mean, it's stupid. So if, look, like I said, I don't know much about that, but I know what I just heard. So, it's hard for me to go to a U.S. attorney and go, 
you know, he wants to hear what you have to say. If you're going to say, oh, they fucking locked me out for some reason, I don't even know. I mean, you don't get a whole marshal team coming to get you at a paintball field if they ain't got witnesses. You know what I mean? And it ain't like they say, oh, I, I look like another guy. I mean, clearly, nobody looks like you, right? I mean, you have your own look. It's a lot of people right now, we got dread tattoos, so it's them, and it wasn't like, it's them. Uh, but the, they ain't got one of the co-guys saying, this is in the back seat. Who? Look, people are putting you there. Yeah, people I know, are. I know. I know. You, know, you know, as hard as all you guys are, you know, there's always one or two that don't want to do life in fucking prison. I mean, who's Nicholas Lewis to you? Nothing. Huh? Nothing. Nobody? Nicholas Lewis in jail? Yeah. I met him in jail. He ain't never nothing to me. You don't know, uh, you and Shakira never talked? Shakira. That's his girl? His girl. I know. Had a little problem over her. Had a tenant throw her out. You and Eric were talking about maybe doing something. Me and her? I was, was you're going of, listen. You're going back to jitter day, bugs, where you keep repeating what I say, <laughs> and that makes me think you're full of shit. Yeah. Talk to me like a fucking man. It's I'm not, not trying to. Man. I'm not trying to get you incriminated. I'm not trying to get more charges on you. You got an attempted murder. No. I ain't trying to do that. I'm trying to get a little bit of. Yeah, good now. I want to talk to somebody, or I, I want to see what these guys have to say because I realize how much shit you have on me, and this crew, and I realize that. If I do be something, a Rico could be very bad. I mean, it's what they charge the fucking New York Mafia. And the poor little white dude that stands at the door and makes sure no one comes in the Italian restaurant while they're whacking a guy, what do you think he gets charged with? Every fucking day. <coughs> I need you to meet that phone call to my family, bro. I will. I, I need to talk to my family right now. Like, I just need to just let her know. Because I only got to talk. I need you to come see. Yeah, he ain't what's trying to hear. He's trying to talk about nothing. 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 Says it like it is. Why disrespect? Why I look at him? Because he knows everybody. Did you see me fall tonight? No, I fell oh, right man. on my ass. <laughs> Sit here, man. I want. I'm sorry. I just want. I'm gonna unhook you. I just want that. I want that chair. Fucking almost broke my ass. Seven seater. Okay. Let's push this plan right now. Okay. I'll. I gotta go through a million people. I told you, like I said, I'll make the call after. I'll swing by her house. I can't. I'm telling you, it's the police. That's all you gotta see. I can't.
Tell me what you're thinking. I'm thinking about my family. Well, okay. I need, I need you to tell them that. Kimbrell, right. listen. This, like I told you, this is bigger than this case. Okay? I, I, I don't know how, how else to explain it to you. You got the FBI sitting in here. This is bigger than Dania BSO. There's, you know, there's U.S. attorneys involved. There's, t I mean, there's, I, I just don't know how to, else to explain it to you that I am not calling the shots here. She's calling some shots, and we got to go through U.S. attorneys. So, like I said, I will, I give you my word, I will make sure Precious knows where you're at. Right. But it can't happen right now. How long you guys been together? Yeah, I'm sick of the king, huh? How do you know Cut? Met in the jail. You guys have started hanging out? And Poops? He's kind of new to the crew. Paying you guys? Paying what? I don't know. Word on the street was he's paying a little protection money. No. Uh, or at least paying to eat. He's paying me nothing. He's paying to eat? He ain't paying him either. I don't know nothing about paying nothing. That's just word on the street. It's just people just stay talking, thinking he know everything. Well, how long have you been dealing with E? I need to talk to my family if I try to know they were right now, man. I know, and I said we'll take care of it. But listen, this is not about this fucking next 20 minutes. This is about the next 60 years of your life. It, it's not, you got to get past this time thing where everything's emergent because time is about to slow down so much that you're going to be counting minutes on a wall. You know, I, I can't stress that enough. You want me to bring some people to see you or no? You want to take a pass? I'm going take a pass. You sure? Yeah, I'm going to go with you. I'm ready to go. Man. Listen, man. I'm, I just asked y'all, can y'all see? You see my family, bro. That's all I'm worried about right now. Like, I'm ready to go. And I'm telling you, there's, after the next couple of days, there's nothing after this. Right. It's it's federal fucking prison. Right. Do you understand that? I understand. Right. Okay. Hang up. I'll get someone. Denying any participation and denying to cooperate, even when facing an FBI agent in a possible RICO, Psycho Bob would stick to the code and set the example for other rappers who enter the interrogation room only to fold under pressure.